Hey everyone, I'm Mackie here. How's it going? In this video, I want to take a minute and talk and uh, give you my thoughts on if you should be publishing long versus shorter books. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I'm a firm believer in uh, the, the, the days of publishing 5,000 word Kindle books is long and gone. That method is old school. It's time to get with the times and you have to invest a little more and publish a little longer books in order to really make some income um, from Kindle publishing. You know, I teach my students inside the blueprint. You want to publish uh, a 10,000 word book minimum. 7,500 is okay, but 10,000 should really be the bare minimum in terms of length that you want to be publishing. The reason for this is, is uh, there's a few different reasons. One, forget about giving your customers value on a 5,000 word book. They're only going to get they're only going to feel ripped off. I don't care what you have in that book. I don't care if it's secure to whatever. A 5,000 word book is just a rip off when you're looking at a paperback book. It's a freaking pamphlet. It's just, it's, it's not a book. So 10,000 words gives you when you order the paperback. And of course I focus majority of my time talking about the paperback. Like who cares about making two bucks off a Kindle 299 book? I'm not like, I don't care about that. I'm looking at focusing and making my royalties, making my profits and revenue off paperbacks. To do that, you need a longer book. So I can't even remember this kind of rant just took over, but so 10,000 words minimum. Uh, go longer if you want. Go 12,000. The cool thing about 12,000 is when you publish a 12,000 word book, it usually works out to about one hour of, uh, of audio time for your narrator, which means that your royalties almost double on ACX. So little tidbit for you. But 10,000 words minimum is what you should be looking for. Now let's say for example, you wrote your own book and you have like a, a 60 or 70,000 word book and you're wondering, should I publish the whole book at once or should I publish uh, just smaller versions of it? And there's a few things to keep in, 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 in mind is this. When you publish one book, you now have one product that you're selling on Amazon. That's it. If you take that 60, 70,000 word book and break it up into I don't even think I, I would do 10 or seven, 10,000 word books. Maybe, you know, you break it up and in, into chunks of like, you know, 15,000 and break, you know, per book, break it up like that, kind of create a series. What you're doing by doing that is you're spreading yourself over more space on Amazon. There are more products for people to find you. You can market your book in multiple ways now and you've created what, you know, more of a series. I really like going along that, uh, going along that route. And that's the route that I really, I choose to do with, uh, you know, with my nonfiction and my, my, my fiction books. With my fiction books, for example, uh, I have an eight part series and I've just been publishing at first. I started off with, with, you know, the first book, to all, basically, I was testing the market. I wanted to see if there was going to be a market for this, and uh, it, it picked up some traction. So then I published uh, the next two, and bundled all those together, of course. And uh, you know, now I'm coming out with uh, with the, with the next few, and I always kind of come out with two books at at uh, once until I have a total of eight. And then once I have a total of eight, then that'll be one big series that people will be able to buy as well. But by doing this, I've been able to just build my list, uh, build my authority on Amazon more and um, versus just waiting for the, the, the whole thing to be done at once and then just publishing that one book. You know, also not having all your eggs in one basket is, is something I really do believe in. You know, if you're gonna publish one, one large book, what if the book flops? What if your marketing for that book didn't work the way you wanted? By just breaking it up into s smaller books, it gives you more chance to do it right. It gives you, it allows you to get better at the most important thing, which is marketing your book. 
right? So by doing that multiple times, that's how you get better at it. But bottom line is if you're thinking of doing a longer book or a shorter book, and if this is preventing you, if this is preventing you from publishing your books, stop, just publish it. Like that's, that's one of the things that, uh, you know, people are always asking me, should I do this? Should I do that? I'm like, who cares? It doesn't matter. Publish the book. Stop thinking about it and just publish something. You can always correct it, uh, you know, as, as you go along. But longer books, shorter books, minimum length, 10,000 words. Maximum length, whatever you want. So hopefully that kind of gave you a bit more insights on uh, if you should be going, you know, longer or shorter in terms of your your book length. Uh, if you like this video, guys, give me the thumbs up. Appreciate seeing those. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. And uh, if you don't already have it, make sure you get my free guide, my five step uh, blueprint to making your first thousand bucks. Link in the description box below for you to check that out for sure. As always. I'm a Mecca. Can't wait to talk to you guys next video.